Hey, I'm Joseph Katz, Executive Editor of The Wrap, and welcome to a new episode of Drinking with the Stars. We are here at the Pink Taco at Westfield Century City. I am here with two of the biggest breakout stars of the TV season from How to Get Away with Murder. Jack, please pronounce your name properly for the camera. <laughs> sure, Fallahy. And Alfred Eno. Welcome. I am here drinking a very early morning strawberry margarita, and you guys are drinking? We are drinking some virgin uh, pina coladas. We have to Perfect. work later. We have to work. Perfect. Right. Thank you for participating in Drinking with the Stars 100, or yeah. as I prefer to call it, How to Get Away with Getting Drunk on the Job. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, well, cheers. cheers. Yeah. yeah. All right, so quick round of rapid fire here, guys. Yeah, Ready? sure. Write your answer, then we'll turn around to the camera. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who do you think killed Sam? Okay, go ahead, turn around. <laughs> okay. Olivia Pope. <laughs> Olivia Pope. Crossover action. There. Yeah, I mean, who yeah. knows? It'd be, who a, knows? It'd be it a twist. Be we don't know. Okay. Poppy Pop. Poppy Pop. <laughs> Describe Viola in one word. <laughs> I was going to hyphenate three words, and that's not. <laughs> that's not, yeah. <laughs> that's, mm. uh, Nice, maternal, powerful, great. Who would be the best castmate to call if you were drunk at a bar at 2 a.m. to come pick you up? Who would be the best? Assuming you drank. Wow. I'd come virgin. on the bus. Yeah, I mean, Elfie's <laughs> out. Elfie doesn't have a car. Uh, <laughs> it depends if you're going who's more likely to be out at the time anyway. <laughs> I mean, I got it. I got it unlocked. Uh, I mean, well. These rounds aren't very lightning quick for you, huh? No. <laughs> I rise slowly. Oh, okay, so that was unanimous. <laughs> yeah, unanimous. Asian Naomi <laughs> King. Talk about, you take the bus. I take the bus. And this, how's, that, how's that work out in LA? Very well. I mean, it, it's not perhaps the most uh, comprehensive public transportation system What's I've ever been What's been the on. weirdest fan uh, encounter that you've had? Like, this has to be um, one. They haven't been too odd. I mean, a lot of the time, if I'm on the metro, if I'm on the bus, people will just say, oh, I really like the show, good work or something, I'm really enjoying it, which is really nice to hear. Um, I met a guy on the bus a couple of weeks back who um, <laughs> sort of reacted as great surprise to see me there and then asked if he could take a photo with me. I said, okay. Um, and then I sort of went to sit at the back of the bus yeah. and, and he sat there for a bit and after about five minutes, he came to where I was sitting. He was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just need to ask you a question. I need to ask you about it. I was like, all right, okay. You can ask me about it. And we sat there talking about the show for the because next Because you're not minutes. on social and it's, what's the reason you're on social? Not on social media? Yeah. Uh, you're on it. Yeah. You're oh, yeah. on Instagram. And yeah, oh sure. What, what does the resting platypus actually mean? <laughs> I'm not giving that up. Okay, I'm, 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 right, go ahead. What, um, I am a Luddite. I mean, not. I don't go into factories and destroy machinery. Uh, <laughs> but, no one thought that. Well, that's what it means. I know. You know but, but, uh, I thought I'd be clear about that. Okay. Um, but I, I, I struggle with technology. I think it doesn't like me okay. and I, because I think it knows I don't like it. So I, I had an encounter with a vending machine today. I was trying to get some, I was trying to get some breakfast. Disaster. Um, and I put my money in the vending machine and I opened the slot, but I opened the wrong slot. So nothing came out. So then it took my money. Then I was annoyed. I thought I wasn't going to have enough money to get the thing. And I just, I managed to Got it. get the money. But I mean, it's, you can't do vending machines. You cannot like, exactly. do Twitter. That's exactly, that's <laughs> yeah, really sure. my, that's really that's my. <laughs> So then when you're getting Reason. your picture taken, then do you just hear about like, oh, I saw this picture of you on Twitter with, well, like, do you feel, do you hear? I, I feel like Twitter is the Twitter sphere, <laughs> so they call it, right? Uh, there seems to be very little Venn diagram intersection between the Twitter sphere and my sphere. Although so, there is that one imposter that you had. There was an imposter true. on Twitter and one, Alfie apparently. was a little cross that, it was basically a guy pretending yeah. to be Alfie okay. and then, you know, tweeting as Alfie. And Alfie was a little cross because his life was pretty boring. Like the imposter <laughs> so was like dumb. going to the movie Go with some lads. And <laughs> Alfie was, was like, come on. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, right. I thought At least have some creative liberties exactly. with my life. My life. I mean. Otherwise, what's the fun? It's not like you say, yeah. either say you're going to be someone really interesting and important, not me, uh, or if you're going to be me, say <laughs> I'm doing interesting and outrageous things, yeah. which, you know, I'm not, but <laughs> don't tell everyone I'm not doing that. Right, yeah. exactly. And can you tell the viewers uh, where they can catch you? Yeah, How to Get Away with Murder is coming back on ABC this January, 10 o'clock. 